before we start the video, I just want to say this video idea came from this commentary right here. And with that out of the way, let's start. Okay, first we got this Toy Factory Sticker Bomb 18 inch Sonic plush. As you can tell, he has different Sonic artwork. And this is a great plush. Got this guy for my birthday, I remember, I think. And this is a great way to start the plush collection video. Next, we have the Sonic Movie 2 Build-A-Bear. And yes, this was extremely awkward getting this guy in store because you had to stare at the employee while they silently made it. But either, in, either way, this was this was a great Sonic plush. Can't, um, can't buy it now because you had to get on eBay because it's not making it, but great plush. Next, we have the Sonic Movie 2 Build-A-Bear Knuckles. Um, this guy was an online exclusive on the Build-A-Bear website and got this guy for Easter. He's wearing the Sonic and Tails shirt that you can buy and great plush. Next, we have the Toy Network Sonic plush and I did make an unboxing video um, for me getting this, but to keep it short, I got this guy from eBay for around 25 bucks and it was a great deal. Um, he is around maybe 18 inches, so it's a, it's a pretty uh, big plush. He's still tagged and he's great. Next we have the Twin Network Knuckles plush. This guy's in great condition. Um, he is tagless, but he still looks great. Um, got this guy from eBay for maybe like 20 bucks. Uh, so yeah, the Twin Network plushes are extremely cheap on eBay. Except you're going, except when you're looking for a tag one like the Sonic one, but great. Then we got the Toy Network Tails. He's tagged again. Um, this is a great plush. Got this guy from eBay because I, I mostly get my plushes from eBay. That's how I get all the old plushes, and I get my new ones from stores, as you as you can probably guess. Um, yeah. Lastly, of the Toy Network plushes, I have Amy, and you can tell this is a beat, pretty beat up. Um, I was, I was, there was a string when I got her on her ear, and I was, I cut her, I cut her with the wrong scissors, and it, I cut like some of the fur off the, I mean, not the fur, the fabric off the ear, so that's why there's a weird hole right there, but uh, I, I, it was worth it, like 20 bucks. Next, we got the Cow Toy Sonic plush, uh, 1993. I made a video on him and Tails, I'm pretty sure it was my first video. Um, keep it short, it's actually a great quality plush. Um, has fabric spines and just it was great. Um, you can get this guy from eBay around 50 and above, but overall worth it. Got the cow toy tails. Um, can't really say the same about Sonic. Um, very unique compared to other classic tails. Got this guy. I got both of them in a bundle on um, in a lot. They're both going for 50 bucks, and I snagged it up a couple years ago. So that's how I got these two, but. Yeah, there is there is some notable damage on the gloves, but I, I say it was worth it getting both. The last of the '90s plushes, I have the Daken uh, 1993 Sonic plush. It came around the same year as the Sonic Cow Toy plush. Um, a really a really unique one. It does look a little weird though. As you, I mean, I I made I mostly made a video on all of these guys except for some that we'll get into later in the video, but um, th yeah, th these plushes are unique. I like I like getting the unique ones instead of like the basic ones. So yeah. Next we have the only movie one Sonic plush that I actually own, and this guy's the Jack Specific Baby Sonic. Um, surprising, you still got buy this guy on Amazon for like ten bucks. That's where I got mine. Um, extremely weird. I'm pretty sure this is based off the original baby design. That's why it looks so off compared to the new. New, like the redesigned Baby Sonic, so yeah. Got this GE Eggman plush from uh, oh whoops, um, Amazon. He was around. I, would, I, I got this for my birthday, so I, I'm pretty sure it was like twenty bucks. Um, I think this is like a Moji style. They have a, they have a line of these. I'm pretty sure they have Tails, Amy, uh, Knuckles, and all, all like all the characters in Metal Sonic. I'm pretty sure they made a silver one too, but um, yeah, I got this is the one from the 30th anniversary yeah the 30th anniversary right there and yeah next we got this little toy factory emoji styled song plush um i where did i get this i got this in a a, a lot with this sticker bomb plush and another song plush that i don't have anymore pretty sure it was the a normal toy factory song plush but anyways um 
Yeah, this guy, I don't know why, but he came like, there's like hair, like dog hair. I don't know how I got on this. Um, yeah, these are pretty cheap on eBay and Amazon. And I went ahead and snagged one up, so yeah. Next we have these Emoji Tomy uh, Sonic Boom plushes right here. I got the laughing and the sad ones. Um, I'm pretty sure I got one of these. There's this one from Etsy and this guy from Walmart. They, for some reason, they have them at Walmart, like on, online, not in store. Um, they still got these in stock. Um, yeah, I, I bet not a lot of people bought these. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm like one of like the only people that actually like these guys. So, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind them. Like they're, they're pretty unique and stylized. I, I like them. So. Next, we got this funny uh, Kinder. What's this? Kinderbot? So I, I don't know. Um, Sonic Plush got this guy from Target, like around fifteen dollars. Um, very, 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 very stylized compared to the other ones I saw at the store. Um, very, very soft, like extremely soft. Um, I like. The, I really like the tag though. The tag looks really new. It's like soft, no, like nice, not soft, like smooth, like that. So. Next, we got this Dark Chow from Jack Specific. We got this guy. Uh, I pretty much get all my Jack Specific Sonic plushes from a Target, sometimes Walmart, but um, got this guy a long time ago, maybe like a year or two ago. I, I don't know. I think pretty sure this was a year ago. Um, I like this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the second Doc, uh, not uh, the Dark Chow plush. So yeah, this is really, really well made plush. We got the classic Eggman from Jack Specific. Um, made a, I made a video on the whole way of one set. You guys should check out. But um, I, I pretty much roasted this guy in the video. Not really a great classic Eggman plush. Then we got Tails. Egg, I mean, not Eggman. Uh, Knuckles and classic Sonic. Might as well throw the box in there. Nothing. Next, we have these pretty recent Jack Specific uh, plushes. We have. I'm pretty sure this is way... Uh, maybe like seven, six. I don't know. I got Modern Sonic. Got the uh, what is this? Jade Wisp. Got Mighty. And we got Shadow. Um. Uh. I got these. I got Mighty Modern Sonic and then a Jade from Amazon. They were in like a um a bundle for like twenty one dollars. It was extremely worth it. I'm pretty sure. It's like fifteen dollars now on Amazon, and then I got Shadow along with Knuckles at a Walmart. So yeah, uh, just dressing these from Walmart or Target. But uh, yeah, just throw the box in here. I just realized Shadow's not in that wave. That's just from, that's from a different wave. So uh, whoops. And lastly, we have the Holy Grail of this collection. I present Bucky. That's right. If yeah, that's right. When one quite rare, the most rare Sonic plushes, another man. That's right, Bucky himself. Uh, shout out to the guy right here. Yeah, he's the person who wanted this video. And yeah, if you guys want me to cover or look at anything, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to look for, at it for you guys. And yeah, make sure to turn your notifications on so you know when I upload. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.